Hello everyone, Click How the Wine here playing Football Manager 2018. We are playing with Blue Spartans, and this is Youth Candidates season. We have better team than last season. We have more talented players this time around. Uh, Craig Lilly is a given as a right defender. He will get a contract. Uh, there we go. He's signed. Uh, Peter Cooper will also get a contract. Even if we do not have that high hopes for him. Uh, we already have a goalkeeper. But uh, I guess we need to sign uh, Martin Stanton as well. Uh, okay. There we go. Um, should we get in any more players? Uh, I, I feel like those are the only, only three players that have a chance to get the first team football. Um, might sign a few more players just to make sure that we have a youth team. Uh, maybe they will be able to compete against other youth teams soon. And maybe if they do well, that will attract more players. Not sure if that is the case, if you have a strong youth team, if that will benefit you to get more strong players. Uh, I guess you will get a contract as well. So Kevin Ferguson, I'm afraid you will be left out. Sorry about that. So at least we will have some players in the youth team next season, even if it will be far from a full team. Also, actually, actually, uh, the next day after, uh, maybe it's the same day as uh, when we did the youth players. Uh, either way, at the start of the season, there was a t some talk about the chairman wanting to retire. And now we have local investor Ken Flynn, who have taken over after the former chairman, Tony Plata. Uh, we will see. What will happen with the new chairman? A new chairman, Ken Flynn, has thanked you for your patience during the, what was undoubtedly been a stressful time for those involved in, with the club. Uh, this is the first I hear about it after uh, the start of the season talk. Uh, Flynn informs you that there are no plans to provide the club with any investment at this stage. I guess that is okay. I don't want to be money boosted this early on. As part of the takeover, a bank loan of 30,000 euro has been taken out to help with the pre-existing debts and the day-to-day -day running of the club. Director Ian Evans has, have left, has left the club following the takeover. The new board would like to point out that they will not that they will only judge you on transfers and matches starting from the day they took over as well. They have cut the affiliate we have with North Shields. Uh, we had a transfer emb embargo apparently since I haven't, well I guess it, it must have been just a few days ago it started. Uh, I guess we skipped that press conference. Uh, actually we see now that we are, that is from a few days ago. Mm. Well, it doesn't really matter. Uh, we have a new chairman. He didn't give us any money. He gave us a loan instead. Uh, that puts us in the in the positive for this season. But the loan will need to be paid at some point. I hope we will be able to do that. Uh, it wasn't a big loan. So I guess it is okay. Uh, now I will play a few matches. 38 matches have been played. We are at the top of the league. For matches left to go this season and uh, it's been very close we just pulled ahead of chester with a win in our last match uh, otherwise they were one point behind us ever since we played them so we can see that we won away against Sturbridge, we won away against harrowgate close matches even if the opponents were not that strong. Then we got only one point against Stockport County. Chester also got a draw in that match. 
Uh, Alfred on town, we won 2-1 away, and then we won 3-0 against Boston United, also away. And at home against Gensborough Trinity, we won 3-1, so we are in very, very good form. Best form we have ever been in. But now it should be a little bit tougher, because we are playing against Spennymoor. Hednesford, we, sh we should win, even if it is away. And then we play against Wrexham, and the final match against Lemington. We will see but <laughs> if we've been able to keep Chester behind us. It's going to be tough. We can see Matthew Gillam have scored 26 goals this season, and then required 22 goals. When it comes to scoring goals, we have been dominant. And we have Jared, no, Jared Rivers 16 assists. And Wrightson got the best average rating so far this season. So we are showing that we are a very capable team. We can see that we have scored 79 goals and only allowed 30 goals. Giving us 49 goal difference. That is very impressive. Home record, we are the best home team in the league with 44 points, 3 losses, 2 draws. And I guess we are. Oh, Chester is the strongest away team. They have 41 points away, and we have 37. Still, that is very good. So, with 4 matches. Ah, my voice. So, with 4 matches left to go. Uh, we are in a very, very strong position. We should be top two. But now we will play against Spennymoor. That will be a very important match. And I am looking for Lemington. We can see they are placed 17th. Ah, we need to win against Spennymoor. We need to win against Hednesford. And we need to win against Lemington. Wrexham, they... I think they have been in second place at one point this season. Let's look. Oh, well, very early on they were in second place, but they were in third place and even fourth place quite long into the season. But lately they have dropped. Or, yeah, they have dropped lately, we can say. So, I've, it is a way, so I'm not going to say we are a favorite in this match against them, but uh, might be able to get a good result anyway. I think we're going to go for a draw in this match. At least if we are able to win against Spennymoor. Um, we should play against Spennymoor on camera, so let's go and do that. Actually, let's have a look. Uh, where is... Uh, Chester, there they are. They are actually playing against Lamington in this round. Should be an easy win for Chester. Uh, we can have a look at their schedule. Wow! I thought we were in a uh, in good form, but we can see they are even better. Very impressive. They have a lot of matches without losing. Our row is uh, not as long, but uh, still decent. Uh, so, uh, can we play with our best team? That will be super important. We have Wood, we have Horner, we have Rivers, Wrightson, Gillam, Maguire, Lidl, Hutchinson, Buddle, Ledger. That means Isaac Ward is injured. Yes, he is. We will need to make it without him. Actually, Isaac Ward is also from Rochdale, same as Gillam. Yes. Ooh, he's... That's not good. A lot of red arrows. So, uh, last match I played attacking. I don't think we can do that against Benimur. Um Should we experiment a little bit? Yes, we should. It's fun to experiment. Uh, do we need to make any changes to this one? I, I clicked here by mistake. <laughs> Uh, I usually do that when I have changed mentality. I usually click down here. And that opens up that menu. But it's still good to have a look at this from time to time and see what we want to change. But I also like to keep this clean. 
and it's been working for us so far. Uh, Michael Ledger, he's been coming in and had been playing rather well. Would have liked to see higher crossing on him, maybe even higher, better dribbling, but we can't get everything. Let's look at his form. We can see he have more solid performances than not solid performances. Only against Alfred Thorn, he struggled a lot. Um, so I feel like this should be a team that can win. Ah, let's go for it. Let's go for it. So ready to play, ready to fight against this Spanimur team. We can see that we actually have faces on most of our players now. Uh, since I recorded the, uh, uh, the first parts of this video, uh, a new patch has been released. There have been some small changes from what I can see. Decent talk. I'm not sure if we will be able to notice any of them today. There have been some colors that have changed and things like that. The league table is not fixed, but a lot of other things have been fixed from what they say at least. So we will play more defensive today against many more. Probably means there will not be as many goal chances from either team. Even if this is quite normal that nothing happens in the first 20-25 minutes. Uh, their left defender is not in great condition. And we can see that the right midfielder is a little bit injured. Good ball, Maguire. Can you find... Yes! No! It's in the bar! He's inside of the box and he manages to hit the bar instead of... Ah! Please do not let them score. Good. Uh, another corner. Ooh, uh, Tyson with an easy save, even if um, the positioning the player had, it could have been very dangerous, but he, he didn't really hit the ball very well, it looked like. So half time, we have one point. Not really good enough, even. Oh, we can see that Spennymoor had a lot of chances towards the end of the half. There were not highlights. Uh, Wrexham winning their match. Uh, Lemington, Lemington, Chester. Chester is in the lead. That means that in, at the moment we are one point ahead of Chester. Should we continue to play defensive? It's. Ah, let's go. Good ball. Ah, uh, could have made it to that ball. Uh, I feel like I want to tell the team that we should exploit the right flank now with the left defender. Not uh, in the best conditioning. We're also going to clear the ball out to that flank to see if we can put Rivers in a good position to go past. Didn't have anyone to go up and challenge for that ball, but we managed to take it anyway. Right on in the post, perhaps, or in the side of the net. Hmm. One point, one point. Ah, we. we <laughs> Push forward a little bit. Uh, we're going to wait until after the chance that we're going to go attacking. We want to have a goal here in the last 10 minutes. Let's see if we can make it happen. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ooh. Close, but not enough this time. We managed to take the ball. Continue trying to push it to our attackers. Finally, out of right zone, and we have people in the middle. Yes, we score! McGuire! McGuire scores! We're gonna go defensive again. Ah, about five minutes left to play, plus extra time. 
corner tried so many times to find someone. Finally, he gets the ball out to Brightson. And Brightson managed to find McGuire in the middle. And we have 1-0. Come on, team. And we get uh, a free goal almost. Uh, Horner gets the ball, finds Gillen inside of the penalty area. And Gillen doesn't make a mistake this time around. McGuire stressing is that Rivers stressing now. But uh, Bogle didn't have anyone to pressure him. So we get that one for free. 2 0 against a strong Spenny Moore. Finally, we take a big win against a top three team. And it doesn't matter if they go in attack now because we are going to win this match. Ooh, uh, Chester also wins. That was, uh, that was a tough match, but the defensive tactic worked for us perfectly today. Uh, I thought he would say something amazing. He didn't say anything at all. Oh, we can always you can see that we only have very short rest against Hedersford. Um, so uh, 11 points ahead of Spendemore. That means we will finish in the top two. It is for certain now. They are not able to get enough points to pass us. Chester, on the other hand, they need four points more than us because we have the goal difference at least i hope it is goal difference that will separate us and not uh, uh, the matches between us and we actually see that we won the first match, match against chester so even if it's not goal difference we will finish ahead of chester this is a perfect chance for us um I will play on my own against Hedna's third. Then we will see where what um, what Chester will do. Maybe we need to play both Brexham and Lemington to be sure that we win this. Um, yeah, but first I will play against Hedna's third, and we will see where we are at that point. This is where we will make our stand. Should we take care of the pre-match tactical briefing? Nope. Do not care about that. You see, we are still first. We are going to play against Lemington in 17th place. Oh, this is going to be tough. We're going to have a look at our results. And we can see that it was a disaster. 1-1 against Hednesford Town. And then we lost 3-0 against Wrexham. That was not a good match for us. And we can see that we struggled quite a lot against the... Uh, Hednesford as well. They got an early goal. We got our goal in the middle of the second half. So, uh, Lamington should be the big favourites to win against them. Uh, there we go. Uh, one point ahead of Chester. That means Chester also lost a match. They lost against Tamworth. Thank you very much, Tamworth. You have given us uh, you have given us a chance to win the Vanarama National League North title. I hope we will be able to do it. It's of course going to be very tough. You can see that we are big favorites, and this is one of the changes that were uh, came with the patch. Uh, the colors have been changed a little bit here, and I also noticed the colors or oh, dressing room atmosphere have gone down quite a lot. Because some of our players are unhappy. Uh, some of the colors here have been changed. The gray hair used to be white. The blue used to be black. So that have been changed slightly. And we can see that um, our social groups are moving around quite a lot. Uh, at the moment we have three people without group. You more have been dropped out of... Uh, I think he's been part of a few different groups, but now he is without one. And Ledger and Hooper are, are the new players. So they haven't found their place yet within the team. Yep, uh, doesn't really matter the changes here. Just color-wise, I think. Maybe 
maybe the orange was uh, not as orange before. I think it is more orange now. I think they might need to change that back, actually. <laughs> because uh, the colors, uh, the, at least the blue, I, I don't really like. I think it's too uh, disruptive, I guess, maybe. Um, Team-wise, uh, we played with this team against Brexa. It wasn't good enough, but uh, hopefully it will be good enough this match. I'm gonna play control, I think. I'm, I'm, I'm starting to doubt myself. Uh, let's uh, let's go standard and let's uh, hmm. let's do that. Uh, more careful this match. It looked like we're set for another final day of the season full of drama and tension. Have you done enough to merge, emerge as champions come full time today? Uh, I know this. Are we gonna, we're gonna be that because, as I said, uh, the speech I did at the team talk didn't go over well. So now I'm gonna play down everything. Uh, keep them, would like to keep them, but uh, not gonna talk about that before the final match of the season when we are fighting for the title. Uh, we need to check who Chester is playing. We're gonna do that next highlight, which might be a few minutes away. Twenty minutes played. There we go, uh, Chester still have not uh, scored, uh, we can see that they are playing against Newton. And uh, let's continue the match. Might be our highlight, right zone, and he will not go past uh, Twyford. But we take the ball back and we move it over to the other side of the pitch. Looks like it will be Lamington who get the goal chance in the end here. Good ball and that is a decent header by Moore. Oh, I'm so nervous. 30 minutes played. Oh, Newton! Newton have taken the lead against Chester. And even if Lamington scores that goal, we are still, we are still champions at this moment. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm not going to watch that goal again because why would I? Um, Twyford ruins our attack once again, but you take the ball back. Wood, Horner, Rivers. Come on, find someone. Nope, 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 that's not nearly good enough, but that ball is good. Rivers, you will find... Oh, Gillan was so close to getting that ball. Wood, Horner, Rivers. Once again, we are in the same position. Maguire, ah, that was so close, and Gillan will get the ball and it scores! Gillan scores! One step closer to becoming champions. Uh, Chester is still down 1-0. Good job, Horner. Good job, Gillam. <sighs> uh, we, we need another goal to be safe. But uh, this is a good start. Oh, they have so many players inside of the penalty area, but we managed to clear it in the end. Ah, oh, they are coming back. No, that's not a good header. No, 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 no. Lemington takes the lead again. Uh, this time was that uh, 
bot who scored or was it more who scored it's actually bot who gets the ball he will find more in the middle <sighs> both us and chester super nervous today Oh, we should say something aggressive here. I expect to see a much better showing from you in the second half. Maybe I should change the instructions because they have not been working for us. Free kick. Decent free kick, but not on goal. Chester have allowed another goal. Elliot is going to to win the title for us, even if he is a Newton player. Uh, I guess we should should try and push forward, see if we can get a point away from this match. A really poor match for us, but. We might win the title anyway. Now we will get no oh, Gillam. Right son. Reverse. We actually get a goal. 2-2. Two, two. We get a goal. This give us <laughs> this this will give us a lot more safety. Chester need to score three goals now in order to win the title with only five minutes left in our match. It should be around the same for them. Ooh, uh, skip, skip, skip. Come on, team. You can do this. We do not win the last match. It will end with uh, a draw 2-2. But Chester also fails to win their match. And this means we are the champions. We will move up to a higher division next season. There we have it. Celebrations. Celebrations. Ah, very, very nice. Uh, going around here, we can see the people, <laughs> the audience, celebrating the few people that are here. We should have been doing a lot better this match, but it is enough. And that is the important part. Uh, assistant manager, no, I'm going to speak to them. Passionate. What a comeback that was. A great effort. I'm proud and so should all of you be. Uh, I guess the comeback will be the way to go. Champions. What an amazing accomplishment for me, <laughs> for us, for Spartans. Ooh, uh, two points ahead of Chester. And we can see that Spennymore ended just four points behind us. We were very lucky to win against Spennymore because otherwise they could have passed us instead. Initial budgets. That is not a very good budget. It's pretty much the same as this season. And... Uh, uh, the important part now will be to to see if we can get a hold of Matthew Gillen for another season, and also uh, Marcus Wood, Mark Wood, Marcus Wood, Marcus Wood. Uh, that will of course be super important. Uh, let's see if we can uh, have a look here at the at the finances. Pretty much the same as this season. Um, Hopefully we will get some money for getting the title and moving up. That will be important for next season. Uh, I think we're going to end the episode here. And uh, we will see if we will be able to get any money, any new players for next season. I guess the next episode will be the silly season. Uh, or at least 
uh, where I talk about what have happened during this silly season. Uh, we will see what happens. Until then, I am Killy Cow Divine. Thank you all for watching.